Hey, this is Tanisha and we are back to the abstract challenge. So as you know, I took a little break for those of you who have been watching every week. And now we're going to get back to the painting challenge. So for anyone who is new to the channel or to the challenge, basically I am doing quick studies and trying different methods um, to, to work methods that I will use in my abstract paintings or future abstract paintings. So the goal is not to be perfect, it's not to finish it, it's not, it's just to try different methods. And so this week we are trying vibrant, highly saturated colors, which I absolutely love. And this is how I started out painting because this is all I knew. All I knew was vibrant colors. So that's what this challenge is about. I really hope you enjoy it. I know I did. And I really look forward to continuing to incorporate vibrant colors in my paintings and just uh, look forward to seeing what you think about this one. So for anyone who is perhaps new to painting, uh, when I say highly saturated colors, it pretty much just means that I'm using color without adding anything into it so get, I'm getting the highest level of that color so I don't want you to be confused by what's going on here because right now what I'm doing is I'm actually using a lighter form of that color so some might call it glazing not sure exactly what you want to call it <laughs> but I use a certain solution to kind of thin it out um, there's so many ways you can thin out the paint so you can use water different things like that and so I decided I wanted to first start out with this because this is just a technique that I love to start with. I feel like it does something and you really see it in the end once the painting is complete. And of course I always start with mark making so of course all the scribbly lines and things like that. I absolutely love that. It's my favorite part. So now you will see me doing a lot of blow drying throughout because I really need to, this to dry quick because a lot of problems I had in the future was based on um, just not waiting for it to dry. So then your colors start to mix when you don't want them to mix. So it's just a good idea to have a blow dryer around and to go ahead and get it as dry as you can. I still feel like it doesn't get it as dry as I want it to get, but it definitely helps compared to not drying it at all. So now at this point, you can really see that I started to add in more vibrant color than what you see in the background. I went pretty heavy on this blue. And as it go, as we continue forward, it does start to look like it doesn't look as dark as it looks now. So I, I have to work with that a little bit. But um, yeah, one thing I can say I'm learning and something that I really have to work on I don't know about you, but I always tend to go into this middle section, which is not good for the painting. You don't really want to land in the middle, and I have a really bad habit of wanting to do that. So one thing I plan to do in the future is to, is to go ahead and practice doing different compositions just to get myself into some other layouts. And I think sometimes with abstracts, what happens is, for me, honestly, I feel like when I don't think I do better, but then when I don't think, sometimes I tend to go to the same composition and I want to get out of that habit. So I, I believe that practicing composition, different various compositions is really going to help me do this more automatically and have a different composition. I apologize for that noise, some kind of truck outside. <laughs> But anyways, my goal is to have variety in my paintings. I don't want to always get stuck here in this middle section. I do try to fix that towards the end of the painting, but I, did, I, I want to do better in the future.
So I don't know about you, uh, do you like paintings that are 100% all highly saturated? Do you like a mix? I love to hear what you think about this in the comments. So for me, I will say that after coming back to where I started using, which is using bright colors, I really like bright colors, but I do want to be able to integrate some more muted colors but i would say i would prefer not to have a 100 percent muted painting not saying anything's wrong with that i really love the vibrant colors here i really miss when i was doing that um i'm so glad that i have learned a lot about getting variety in color and that's all and that's good but once you start mixing colors together and adding different things your color becomes less saturated and it is not as vibrant and so i really love the vibrant aspect of this painting and but I again I don't want it to be all bright and when I first as you can see the little squiggly line looks like more like a vanilla line I didn't mean to use that marker I used the wrong marker but in any case I still end up liking it in the end and I think if I would have used a hundred percent white marker it would have been too stark and too much again more brightness so this vanilla marker that I use or Posca pen it's actually it's not that bad but as you can see I'm going in and I'm adding more of that blue because I want it to be a little bit darker just to pop a little bit more and I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video but I'm also when I do these quick studies I'm trying to do them in 15 minutes so I don't really have a lot of time to think which is nice and so this is pretty much where we've gotten and I really like this. I'm really excited about getting back to the brighter paintings. What do you think about the brighter paintings? I'm really interested in knowing um, what you think about it. So now I'm just doing some final little touch-ups. I know my time is running out. I really love these quick studies. I love not taking all day to do it because it really helps me grow and helps me to learn faster. So if you're not doing it, I always say this, if you're not doing quick studies, I highly suggest you do them. It doesn't matter really how experienced you are. It has been so valuable to me to be able to try a different method. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you next week.